Well, welcome back to Virginia this morning. Richmond's ready to enjoy a busy weekend that likely includes 120 seconds for the greatest two minutes in sports, the running of the Kentucky Derby. It's the 138th run Saturday afternoon, and you can bet that many will enjoy the signature cocktail, a mint julep. This morning, Julep's Restaurant's own mixologist, Joe Moss, joins us with both a history and a preparation lesson. And Joe, we also have uh, some tasty cupcakes that, I mean, this has just gone over the top. It's been hard not to indulge uh, so far. <laughs> well, um, the, we, uh, the, the day is young. We still might get into young. those cupcakes. Yeah. I had a little note because I want to make sure that I get this right. These are from Two Sweet Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Vanilla cake with bourbon cream filling. Okay, excuse me while I drool a little bit. With spearmint <laughs> kissed buttercream frosting. So how delightful is that? Perfect for the derby. And of course, yeah. people are going to be looking for the signature drink that you know how to make. Well, I think the drink and the cupcakes will probably go hand in hand for, yeah. the, for race day. Uh, the mint julep goes back a, a, in history a long way. Um, it was first known as uh, basically a sweet drink. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, it's actually derived from a Persian word that uh, d describes it as rose water mm -hmm. and it was used as a vehicle for um, medication. And I think people still to this day use it as a vehicle for medication in certain <laughs> ways. but. Um, you know, it was first published back in uh, 1803 uh, from an author in London uh, in, in the written word, um, and they, he described it as what Virginians drink in the morning. Okay. Speaking of everyone in the New World, yeah. I'm assuming, but just so happens he, he used the word Virginians. Um, and since then, it's kind of spread from Kentucky with a U.S. Senator named Henry Clay. He brought it to Washington, and since then, it's kind of gone up and down the eastern seaboard. Um, and now with, with race weekend coming up, uh, the first leg of the Triple Crown, um, you know, it just, it, it exemplifies this time of year yeah. uh, for horse enthusiasts. And it's just a wonderful, refreshing drink for the summertime. You are a walking Wikipedia. I'm going to have to take you <laughs> everywhere that I go, of course, because I want to know how to make this. So mm -hmm. show us show us the magic that we're working with. What do you have to do to make a, a mint julep? We're going to be making an easier version here that's a time saver, but you make a, a real traditional one as well. We do. At, at uh, Julep's uh, New Southern Cuisine in downtown Richmond, Amy Cabanis really wants us to do, uh, do it the tra traditional way, using some elbow grease. Mm -hmm. um, we actually make Make the simple syrup uh, using boiling water, uh, a lot of sugar cane, um, and then you have to kind of shake it up, let it sit for a while, let it cool, um, and then when you when you make the drink the traditional way, you actually use the, the muddling tool. Mm -hmm. You get in there uh, with the simple syrup and the spearmint. Um, so it's time consuming. Um, it can be messy, yeah. and uh, you know it. It is. With it's this messy new product, and sticky. Yeah. I actually tried this last night mm -hmm. in iced tea, mm -hmm. and it blew me away. Yeah. Um, and it really does, from a commercial standpoint, and from just the the regular bar at home, it um, it can save a lot of time. We have and it's one, just as good. We have one minute left, so you've got to show me how much time this it's, is going to this well, is going to save over here. With with Kiss, it's really fast and really good. Okay. So all you need is the appropriate cup. The Which traditional is, uh, julep cup. Basically steel. Okay. Um, you take a little simple syrup and you add. Why the steel, about Joe? About a three count. Steel, or, uh, st steel and pewter um, has a, a reaction to cold liquid mm -hmm. and it really keeps the drink chilled and actually produces a frost yeah, around the glass. Yeah, you can kind of see it on these. It's wonderful mm -hmm. and it just keeps the drink cold for a long time. And then traditional uh, bourbon, mm -hmm. you want to use a nice small batch bourbon top quality product with a with top quality product like this. Mm -hmm. uh, we use Woodford Reserve quite a bit. That's a very original Kentucky bourbon. Um, and you want to do it. It's about a two to one ratio, two, two counts of bourbon okay. to one count of the simple syrup. Mm -hmm. And the only way we're using the muddling today is just to kind of stir it up stir a little it together. bit. And then you want to take some ice, mm -hmm. crushed ice. You definitely want to use crushed ice. Mm -hmm. And then your mint sprig. And the garnish. You did And show it's us just how a beautiful, done. beautiful cocktail. Well, cheers. Happy Derby weekend. And to you too. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Make it very simple with this uh, <laughs> spearmint infused kiss. It's delightful. And I have to say, it makes a wonderful iced tea as well. Well, you can use it for just about everything. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. You're